My name is Michelle Fazette and I'm the operations manager here at the Elk Lake Eco Center. Our snowmobilers love that it's easy access on the trails. As well as being on the trail, there are a lot of backcountry riding spots to go to. They have the opportunity to relax in their cabin if that's what they'd like to do. It's nice that they have the ability to hang out in the center, sit around the fireplace, use the hot tub, the sauna. I definitely have been a guest here. Fantastic place. I mean, the staff here are absolutely outstanding. The other nice thing is just the ambiance. You feel when you get here that you're relaxed. I mean, you walk into the main foyer, the main ballroom area, and there's a fire going. You look outside, there's another fire going located right beside the hot tub. Just seems to be able to ease and calm the body. Here at the Elk Lake Lodge and Eco Center, we have six chalets. There's six bedrooms in each, three bedrooms upstairs, three bedrooms downstairs. So we offer accommodations. There's two bathrooms in each cabin, as well as a kitchenette and a living room. You can rent them by the room or you can rent the entire cabin. We also have a restaurant here on site with a licensed bar. We are an event center as well, so we do have the capacity to host events and conferences and weddings and that sort of thing. We've got fuel on site. It's Supreme 91 Octane. We've got ski trails, snowshoe trails. We're right on the river, right on the A trail. Elk Lake Eco Center is a unique wilderness resort in the Northeast. It's a great starting point for many snowmobile trips. This is one of the world's best snowmobile destinations because we have such a long season. We're much longer than Southern Ontario. We get extra weeks at the beginning of the winter and the end of the winter. We get more than ample snowfall and then the trails are perfectly groomed. The main reason why I think Southern Ontario riders load up their trucks and their trailers and head down the 401 and the 400 onto Highway 11 is just because of what we have to offer here in the north. We're pretty much guaranteed snow all winter long. The trail conditions are fantastic. The other thing that we hear a lot is how wide our trails are and that's one of the big reasons why they come. A lot of these little communities are hubs, so you can do day tours. So instead of you know heading on a long trip and, and doing a two to three day trip, you can stay in one place and use that as your hub and do different day loop. The key areas are west of Elk Lake on the Roadhouse Tower Road. There's Canyon Lake. And just a little further than that, you end up going up to about 600 meters above sea level. And the views are just phenomenal to the north. You get to see over the boreal forest. In the New Liskard area, you get to switch over to the farm fields. And if you just had a little off trail south down Lake Temiskaming, you get to see Devil's Rock, which is one of our most noted features in the area. And uh, there's just many, many different types of terrain on the 640 kilometers of trails in the area. The nice thing about the trails here in northeastern Ontario, especially in and around the Elk Lake Temiskaming Shores area, is there's a lot of variety. I mean, when you're riding through here, it's like you're riding through the true Canadian shield. There's evergreens, you know, birch trees. It really is an experience where you do feel like you're connected with the wilderness. One of my favorite places to ride is from Temiskaming Shores to Elk Lake. Great variety of terrain. We're in farmer's fields. You're riding old rail bed. Probably one of my favorite uh, rides is Temiskaming Shores to Elk Lake. This year, we're looking at getting some live music in, as well as hosting theme dinners, buffets, brunches, that sort of thing. It's a great facility and uh, I would highly recommend.